right. Hello, everybody. It's High Grade LTD, aka Thousand Take Motherfucking King, and uh, we're going to be playing Village, the new Resident Evil. Now, this came out like a minute ago, but I wasn't making YouTube videos then, and I am now, and so I'm going to do this before the DLC comes out, so I can be on top of the DLC and just rake in the views. Rake them in. That'll probably not happen, but I appreciate everyone that does watch this, because I expect nobody to be watching. Like, nobody, dude. Nobody. Yes, sir. Bottom bum bottom. Hmm. I like that logo. That was a good one. All right. Cool. Hell yeah. <clears throat> I like subtitles. I'm sorry if you don't like subtitles. Go fuck yourself. Just, it's just, yeah. It's straight up. Which way? Because the pattern is barely visible. It's like right there. Oh, you can tell I literally just started this game. Boom. Yep. I get it. Oh, I have to scroll all the way down. I have to pretend like I read it. I get it. Boom. Hell yeah, I read everything. Oh, I got things? Whoa, I have things now. Okay. Hmm. Sure, we'll go over this real quick. <coughs> okay. Where to start? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he going My way name? back. It's Ethan. Ethan Winters. It's been three years since everything happened at the Baker House. I was looking for my wife, who disappeared. I got an email from her. She told me to come get her. And of course, that's how I ended up in the middle of nowhere, Louisiana. I found Mia being held captive in a dark basement. She wasn't thinking right. She attacked me like some kind of wild animal. Later on, I found out that she was infected by a special kind of mold. I looked all over the house trying to find an antidote, a vaccine, anything. Mm, Jack. The Welcome people the who lived there were already infected. What was left of them wasn't human. The source of the infection was a bioweapon that looked like a little girl. Her name was Evelyn. I fought the fucked up family and was able to treat Mia's symptoms with a serum. Mm, the then homie. Chris Redfield and his soldier buddy showed up and saved the both of us. Is that enough? I really don't want to talk about what happened anymore. All right, bro, chill out. I ain't forcing you to do nothing. Bro. It's all over now. Why well, wants to get all defensive right away? Like, Jesus. Like, bro, calm the fuck down, bro. You didn't even have to recap the last game if you didn't really want to. Okay, just because I asked you to doesn't mean you have to do it. Everyone remember that. Just because someone asked you to do something does not mean you have to do it. Oh boy. Yeah, we'll try hardcore. We'll try it. I'm uh, I'm pretty versed in the uh, Resident Evil games. 
<laughs> then he got his ass kicked. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Wow. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across <coughs> waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. That's why you ask permission. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Snap, crackle, and pop. That's crazy. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. Jesus. You're just being paranoid. Being it's not- Defensive. <laughs> Never mind. I'm sorry. <clears throat> but I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. Like, bitch, you cut my arm off. Like, do you remember that, motherfucker? Like, goddamn. I'll finish dinner. It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. <laughs> What's that? Is that really the only thing on my TV? We'll leave it on. I can't. I don't have like a drop baby button. Oh, yeah, you didn't like that one, did you? They're there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Did you say something? Like ears of a hawk down there in the kitchen. Uh, can I just hope it's this door so I don't have to carry this baby very fucking? Damn it, has to be a fucking bathroom. Your mama and I love this song so much. Well, that's kind of adorable, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I have a heart. It's not a fucking very big, that's not true, but. 
Let's keep moving. And please be a children's bed. Nope, just a bunch of bullshit. Uh, what's in here? <coughs> Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. Oh, there's a car outside. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, you think you can hide? Well, I can keep this around. I should get rid of it someday. You brought one of those things? Fucking Christ, bro. Like, they, they were collectibles, but really, bro? You fucking went out there. Almost there, honey. Wait, that door's open by itself? That was fucking weird. I got no one questions this. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. All right, oh yeah. We put the baby to sleep. We got her clothes for tomorrow, apparently. Oh, we're having fights now? Oh, yeah. Huh, all right, well. Glad I could find out about your life. Is this the... Oh. Ooh. Rose is fine. Gun survivors. Heavy fire. It's not paranoia if they're really out to get you. Jesus, bro, you are just a little bit paranoid. <laughs> oh, this is adorable. How do I turn the turn the fucking page? Oh, look at this shit. Look at this scrapbooking I might understand when I have a kid. Look at that. Mm. Most people just have Snapchat memories. I wish they it could stay hard. like this forever. Alright, that's good. Let's run amok, as they say. Oh, I can open the closet, really. What's up? What's in the closet? I didn't really fully go into the bathroom, so look at these guys. Don't even leave the fucking seat down. I'm coming ho. I was hoping if I left the TV on for long enough, like an Easter egg would pop up or something on it, but whatever. Ooh, looks like a fire dinner's pulled out right here. Ooh. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, well, like a baby. Hmm. <laughs> That smells good. What's that? Like oh, hands off, mister. Hey, bro, you can try to burn it's me. It's chorba de la gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <sighs> you really have to stop worrying. Bro. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <sighs> Well, maybe now you understand. Bro. Mia, get down! Dude, she got shot in the heart. I'm sorry, she's not down. Oh, God! Mia! Oh, Where are you shooting from? Holy fuck, dude, you did go through houses, bro. Mia. Oh, God. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! <laughs> what? Why? Holy shit. Bro, 
Bro, what are you being an ass? Oh, okay. Damn, I thought we were gonna get punched or something, but that would've been way cooler. Go move! Hey, don't be a prick. Bastard. Shot my girlfriend in the face. All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Man. Oh, shit. Get him, bro. You know how long it took to put her to bed, bro, and you just wake her up like that? Little bitch ass. Wow, man. Chris got off the fucking steroids as everyone else did his fucking work for him now, actually. I miss Resident Evil 5, Chris Redfield, where he fucking can bench press hey, a Doc. fucking car. Hey, Doc. I've got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about them. How about the next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Oh, boy. I, I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something, something you're not telling, you're telling me? me? Come on, talk, talk to, to me. me. Damn it. I have to, I have take, to take this. This. Mm. this is why I'm not getting married, man. Because then I'm going to have to have a bitch lie to me and then go to Louisiana to rescue her for some crazy ass hillbillies and then have a baby and then have some dude shoot my wife but now I have to find this baby see why would I get married and go through all that bullshit when I could just not go through all that bullshit like no one wants to go through that bullshit Jesus. Pick up the fucking phone, bro. That's annoying. Yes. About damn time. What's your status? Is the package safe? What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not authorized to walk over. You better silence that ringer, buddy. Buddy boy, put that shit on vibrate. We're gonna be behind the, the enemy all of a sudden here. Uh Go fuck some shit up. With a blinker? Whoa. And we're charging through the snow. I don't know, this is a song to go fuck ourselves. Let me some shit up. Can people stop walking? for having kids, man. You could have been fucking hookers. No, you had to go to Louisiana. Whatever, fuck you. Jump scares are gonna happen at some point. Yep. Mm. 
Mm, I hear a monster. <sighs> Hello, monster. <laughs> what was that? Okay, word. Like I was just walking aimlessly through the fucking woods. Oh, the cabin. This does not look like it's gonna be fun. Mm, where's the gun? I want a gun. I even take on this point a folding knife. Jump scare. Okay, let's fucking miss this. Hmm, that is also literally fucking useless. That's great. get in here and just hide forever. Dead guy? Damn, bro. That guy finds a random cabin in the woods and is like, yeah, I'm gonna walk right into these people's houses. Just fucking look around for shit. Start opening drawers, reading things, looking at pictures of fucking weird Jesus people or something. I don't even know. Is there something I'm supposed to be doing here? Or much it's just, just a weird picture. Okay, cool. That's a cool picture to look at. I like that. Okay, dead people. Ah, okay, but there's gonna be something behind me when I turn around, right? That is surprising. Nah, there's definitely gonna be You're determined, bro. I guess after Resident Evil 7, there's not much that's gonna terrify you. That was already some spooky shit. What did all this? Damn, and it's magically daylight out. We've been down in a basement for all of about maybe two minutes and uh, the whole, whole, whole night cycle. Boop. Where the hell am I? Walk towards the ominous church bell. That's always a good idea. Dead horse. All right. Hmm. Creepy ominous door opening. Fuck it.
Maybe, maybe they're out. Uh, whatever you say, Goldilocks. Looks like they got fucked. Look, it's the weird picture again. Well, all right, that was a cool little visit in the new house. People dragging bodies away. I'm going to be entering that later. Nope, that door is not open. Is this outhouse open? Ooh. No, it's bullshit outhouse. question Ethan let's explore this more because that's what smart people do they explore crazy fucking shit locked due to missing homeowner yeah I bet they're the only people missing here is this there's a weird seal I get my first knife. Yeah, a knife. What's up? You wanna fuck on me? <laughs> and jump scare. Ah, no, no. Holy Friendly. shit. Friendly. Friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down on the road and. What's going on? Oh no. <coughs> They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? Do you have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. I have no, a gun. No, why would I? Oh, homie. Take it! I'm, I'm yes, thank you. Okay, okay. Help me, it's out, bro. Hey, are you listening? Hey! Oh, my. Oh, my good. Oh, my good. Oh my god, all right. Oh, there's a bunch of dead people. Dead, dead body? Fucking dead people galore. Wait, there's more. Oh, I got ten rounds. Um, fuck it, we'll keep going a little bit longer. What do you want, bro? What's your, what's, what you, uh, what you got your head down for? Keep your head up, bro. He might come back. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he might bring you back. Jesus Christ might intervene and save you from your sins. What the hell he is did. wrong with this place? I'm not religious, but... <laughs> oh, my. What's that thing that's breathing over there? You better point a gun at it, bro. I don't trust things that move. 
No, my hand! <laughs> oh my Jesus. What shit. fucking strength. What At least you can shoot. What was that? We're about to whip out the pistol, boy. Start no. shooting in the face, boy. <laughs> Get him off, get him off, get him off. Oh my god, why do I have that out? No, I'm dead. Oh my god. Holy shit balls, that was crazy. That was fucking crazy, right, guys? It was fucking wild. <laughs> Bullshit, I blocked. What's up, boy? Let's go. Let's go. Let's fucking get it. That's right. What's up? Oh, no, he got me. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I ain't gonna... Yeah. Oh! Why didn't you have a gun out? Oh, my God. Oh, he kicked that motherfucker, though. No, oh, bullshit, I fucking blocked. Bullshit. Alright, we're gonna do this one more. I can do like dive four times already. Oh my Jesus. Oh my Jesus. No. Faster than I want you to be. Oh, how did you? Oh my god. Oh. Oh shit. Ooh. Fucking block that. Oh, get out. Is it so quick there? Do not try to knife these guys. Fuck you. Fuck you. What the hell? Fuck you. Oh, kind of fluid. Oh, this is a nice crafting menu. I like this. Okay, there's an herb right there. There's an herb right there. How did, wait, what? How did I not? Okay. Okay. Tight. Uh, I'm going to pick this up right here again because this video is going a little over 30 minutes. So I'll see you in the next one.